Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiriti Sancti. Amen. Prayer for the protection for hands in inclusion, Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first, whatever is the religion of the record team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust judge, conspiracy, and violence which might affect the people they are trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines in impure and violent motives of the false accusations we believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord, 
help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan and may stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands and inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations and any harm and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sea, Pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. St. Clair of Montefalco, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. St. Monica, Pray for us and our family and friends. St. Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. St. Michael the Archangel, St. Benedict, Pope St. Pius X, and Pope St. John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizations and all the people who formerly worked with the organization have made terrible mistakes and those the people who took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are those amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Holy Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In nomine Patris, et Pili, et Spiriti Santi. Amen. Pananaw at opinion ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report 
are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Editorial. Today is Monday, March 22, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Into Radio, Enhanced and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. We will begin our show with our verse for today. From... Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 to 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Welcome back to Editorial. Okay. This evening, we will discuss about hospitality. What is hospitality? Hospitality is the relationship between the guest and the host, wherein the, guest, where, wherein the host receives the guest with goodwill, including the reception and entertainment of guests, visitors, or strangers. Louis Chevalier de Haucourt describes hospitality in the Encyclopédia as the virtue of a great soul that cares for the whole universe through the ties of humanity. The essence of hospitality is that service is the main essence of hospitality. Guest service means being attentive to the guest requests and needs. Good quality service is the main essence to run a good hotel and it can achieve by creating such an environment for the guest that should give a feeling of home away from home. What it means to be hospitable is fairly universal and cross-cultural. Being friendly, warm, welcoming, and helpful to others, especially strangers. That last bit is why hospitality remains important after all these years. It comes down to basic human interactions of being genuine, generous, and sincere. While practiced every day, hospitality leads to a deeper sense of connection and belonging with the people around us. And also happens to leave immense health benefits such as reducing stress and protection from illness. Restaurateur Danny Mayer, who recently announced a partnership with Hyatt's newest band, Caption, centers his philosophy of enlightened hospitality on hiring great employees. The right staff translates directly into exceptional experiences, which is why employees are the most important stakeholder group, followed by guests, the community suppliers, and investors. Danny Mayer explains why in his book, Setting the Table, the only way we can consistently earn rates when win repeat business and develop bonds of loyalty with our guests is to ensure that our own team members feel just about coming to work. Being just is a combination of feeling motivated, enthusiastic, confident, proud, and at peace with the choice to work on our team. Of course, labor is a top struggle for hotel years. So it's more important than ever to consider your working conditions and building a culture that retains top talent in order to deliver a great customer experience and in turn good hospitality. Hospitality is where warmth and genuine sincerity meet to create something greater than the sum of its parts. For each of the people quoted here, hospitality was a calling, a passion that not only became their life's work but inspired generations of hospitality professionals as well. As Ian Schrenger frames it, the secret to a great hotel is putting all of these pieces together from design to technology to talent in a way that one plus one equals three. In a lot of ways, hospitality is similar to Hollywood insofar as it's about motivating a diverse group of professionals to create something none of them could create on their own. So what's the opposite of hospitality? As the thesaurus suggests, frostiness, unfriendliness, ungraciousness, coldness, abruptness? Yes, indeed. An isolated process of the guest experience calling someone by their first name is not hospitality. Neither is watering their last name, avoiding eye contact while typing to a computer or asking, have you stayed with us before? To a loyal guest. Hospitality also isn't a checklist something to be completed with detached operational efficiency. According to Danny Mayer, he said, It's remarkable to me how many businesses shine brightly when it comes to facing the tasks that emanate all the warmth of a cool forest and life. In other words, hospitality isn't the same thing as service. It's about knowing the difference between service and hospitality and delivering on both. Service is transactional. The task of running a hotel while hospitality is genuine, the human element of running a hotel. Today, successful hospitality centers around understanding how to harness current technology to leverage trends and deliver hospitality consistently in the competitive service industry. For a framework 
The late Aztec friends in hospitality can be coupled with the corresponding hospitality trade. A lot of these hospitality trend examples will be consistent across other segments of the hospitality business like theme parks, event planning, food service, caterers, cruise lines, and other tourism industry professions. All of these professions are ultimately designed to deliver positive experiences to guests and make everybody who walks through your doors feel like they're on a list. Example of hospitality. Airbnb launches Airbnb Plus. The trait of hospitality is anticipating guest needs. As most travelers, or more travelers rather, turn to professionally manage short-term rentals, hotels must do an outstanding job at anticipating guest needs and showing the timeless value on, of on-premises hospitality. There are certain things that even a professional rental can't match. A warm smile and greeting of hotel staff. You need your help when you need it and someone there to anticipate your needs. Hospitality example, Hilton launches the digital check-in. The trait is using welcoming words and exuding more with the 10 and 5 rule. The 10 and 5 rule says that staff should acknowledge and work his mouth to any guest within 10 feet and make a sincere audible greeting within 5 feet. Staff should strive for each interaction to create a genuine connection with guests. In a digital world, Analog interactions carry more weight. Hospitality example, people skills, the number one hospitality example. The hospitality trait is good communication skills, especially in listening. As turnover rises and it becomes harder to hold on to talent, hotels must train staff on the power of micro communications. Danny Mary says hospitality is a dialogue. It requires listening and following up with a thoughtful Gracious, appropriate response. Train your staff to provide prompt, responsive, and specific feedback rather than cold platitudes. For instance, rather than we are sorry for any inconvenience, which suggests that the guest may actually not be inconvenienced. The response would be, I'm so sorry you can't take a shower. I'm so sorry you can't take a shower. Pasensya na ko, hindi ka makakaligo at gamit ng shower. Maintenance will be up to 10 minutes. A follow-up in 20 minutes to make sure that it's fixed. Even as these trends rise and fall, the core principles remain constant. After all, the hospitality industry has become around for thousands of years. It's one of the world's oldest industries and it means a bright spot for cultural exchange, business development, and good old-fashioned rest and relaxation. Hospitality and hotel operations is a shared global language that has become a fundamental part of the shared human experience. Yes, remember, not just the standard service but the extraordinary hospitality that makes them feel welcome and appreciated. That's what it's all about. In summary, soon after beginning your studies in hospitality management, you will start to realize that whatever, wherever you go, you will find hospitable people while working for and helping others to create impactful life experiences. Whether it is the smile and helpfulness of the front desk manager at the, in the boutique hotel, you saw, check, you just check into, or simply a passive by holding, open a door because they saw your hands are full of groceries. Hospitality is everywhere. Hospitality is the friendly and generous reception and entertainment of guests, visitors, or strangers. And that's the end of our PowerPoint presentation. Now, let us now the time to move on to our announcements part of the show. Okay, for our sales at the Hands in Inclusion online shop, we have pro three products available. The Hands in Inclusion t-shirts, the white colored Hands in Inclusion t-shirts, the small size is 430 pesos, medium is 440 pesos, large is 450 pesos, extra large is 460 pesos. And if you want the text in the back, you just, you just pay an additional 50 peso charge for that. For the black colored Hanson Inclusion t-shirts, small size is 450 pesos, medium is 460 pesos, large is 470 pesos, Extra large is 480 pesos. And if you want a tax on the back, you need to pay an additional 50 peso charge for this. For that, rather. 
look at this. These are our colorful and beautifully designed hands and inclusion tote bags. The small size is 220 pesos. The medium size is 240 pesos. Large is 260 pesos with additional 50 pesos with the text at the back. Another one is the hands and inclusion stickers. These stickers here, ladies and gentlemen, these are very, very colorful. We include our yes, it's 250 pesos. In EV ko ang mga Pinoy PWDs, 150 pesos. And the inclusion is 150 pesos. So, how can we pay? We can pay via GCash and our pay Maya on this number flash in your screen 0917 That's 0917 9684. It will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, Go Go Express, Grab, Mr. Speedy Philippines, and LBC. Do you want to donate for hands and inclusion? Well, we can donate for hands and inclusion no matter what, regardless, and it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. Then you may donate via GCash and or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917-701-9684. And for those who donated, thank you for your continuous generosity and for your continuous support to Hands in English. But wait! There's more. Okay. On March 27, 2021, from 6 o'clock in the evening to 9 o'clock in the evening, Hands and Inclusion will have our, our third webinar series for this year. The title of this is Usaping Inclusion para sa Kababaihan. Usaping Inclusion para sa Kababaihan or Inclusion Talks for the Women and the Youth is the third webinar series of Hands and Inclusion is one of the major steps to fulfill this mission. It is one of the major campaigns for inclusion of persons with disabilities where the speakers discuss their stories of success and reasons for PWD inclusion as well as other related information. In this webinar, we will discuss the role of women about inclusion for persons with disabilities. The speakers of this webinar are both women and advocates. It will be live via Hands and Inclusion Philippines Facebook page on stream yard from 6 o'clock in the evening to 9 o'clock in the evening and the premiere episode on Hands and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel and the following day from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. There will also be a sign language interpreter for our viewers and with hard of hearing and the deaf as well. So we will get to know our speakers of this webinar First is Bel Baria Mitchell, the member of the Ethics Committee and Hands in Inclusion. And she's the former Vice President for Internals of Hands in Inclusion and a core member of Autism Strong Philippines. She's a motivational speaker and she's a singer 
in a choral and solo mode of sing way of singing rather and of logger and she was married to David Mitchell last November 22 2020 in South Carolina in America Olive Medina is a mother of a child with autism she is the co-founder of Lorenzo's Sanctuary and Rotera Wellness Advocate. Leo Buenaventura is the current student activities head of Daro Lapis at Libro. And there is a surprise. Someone will sing in this webinar. You will see that on our on Saturday. Sana magustuhan niyo. On March 26, 2021, Dallas College of St. Benilde, in collaboration with the EdTech, the Center for Inclusive Education, and the Venetian Student Envoys, will have a webinar about we include the talks on inclusive online learning. So there are speakers for this webinar in Benilde are Sir Benny, the faculty of the School of Multidisciplinary Studies and a member of the Center for Educational Technology. Ms. Rochelle is a faculty member of the School of Deaf Education and Applied Studies in the Benil Deaf School. And Attorney Jude, the faculty member of the School of Management and Information Technology and the current program chairperson of the Human Resource Management. If you want to join, you may register on this link indicated in this picture. We include the talks on inclusive online learning at eventbrite.com. Do you want to follow Hands in Inclusion on social media? Well, we can do this. If you want to learn more about Hands in Inclusion, you may follow us on our following social media pages and YouTube channels. For Facebook, Hands in Inclusion PH, uh, Kumu, HNI Philippines, Instagram and WordPress, Hands in Inclusion PH, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hands in Inclusion Philippines. In addition, you may want to follow the associated pages of Hands in Inclusion on Facebook and YouTube. Facebook, Inclo Radio, Inclo Sports, Inclo Nihan, Online Shop, and Inclo Gaming. And of course, our YouTube channel, Inclo Gaming. So regarding the anticipated return of Hands and Inclusion Philippines in the future, uh, apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hands and Inclusion Philippines in the future. Sa mga nakikipanood sa atin, Bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, inili namin ang iyong tulong at panalangin sa lumang rehilingin na sana bumalik at hands in inclusion sa panghinaharap bilang isang formal na organisasyon. At sana magkaroon tayo na pag simula. And also, one last announcement. Okay. As in Aspire 2021 of Ateneo Speed, we have uh, two webinars on March 26, that is a uh, Friday from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock. We'll be having the inclusion workplace talk and aspirations talk on March 27 from 2 p.m. to 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 4 o'clock in the afternoon.
Okay. Let's have the time for our uh, shout outs and greetings. Okay, first, uh, to my family, good, uh, good evening. Hi! To my friends in Hansen Inclusion, and to my friends from Ateneo Speed, Best Buddies, and uh, my high school and college friends, and also Angat, PWD United, uh, good evening. And uh, to those who are celebrating their birthdays, happy birthday. And for those who are celebrating their anniversary, happy anniversary. And of course, Torrens birthday, happy birthday. And um, he and um, And also, um, to those who are watching, it may be uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. I hope that you're uh, that you're in good health, good shape, and in good and your and your well being is already been improved. And nasasana na sa mabuting kalagayan kayo. Kung hindi, you may use the time to improve your mental health as well. And this year, Hands and Inclusion is celebrating a very important milestone. We celebrated our fourth year anniversary this year. And as our theme is, May Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. So, this is the true taste of One Inclusion Nation. And this is our one inclusive nation and a one inclusive Philippines. Okay. And uh, that was the time for editorial for Monday, March 22, 2021. I will be back again on Wednesday at 5.30 in the afternoon to 6.30 in the afternoon for the Editorial Wednesday edition. On behalf of Inclu Radio and Hans in Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi. Thank you. Good night. May Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain tayo nawa ng buong may kapal. We include our yes. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. We at Hands in Inclusion include us and include each other. One Inclusion Forever, HNI, God first. Thank you, bye for now, and I'll be back on Wednesday. Maraming salamat, magandang gabi, paalam po ngayon, at Mabuhay. Bye-bye.